Welcome to this demonstration, Getting Started with Triage Pro. This demonstration will walk you through the Triage Pro interface and basic functions so you can comfortably begin your project. When you first download Triage Pro, you'll be prompted to enter your serial number and register your details in the License Manager. Once your serial number is active, you will see a welcome screen. The welcome screen will not appear each time you start Triage Pro. If you need it, you can find it in the Views menu. We'll come back to what the Views menu is later. You can access a number of demonstrations like this one through the Welcome view. Just select this link here. And those demonstrations will be able to provide further details about building and analysing models. They'll be useful to watch after you finish watching this demonstration. Also in the Welcome screen, you've got an option of choosing several layouts the build, analyze and simple layout. We're going to choose the build layout and I'll show you where to select a different layout later. The Triage Pro interface is broken down into sections called panes. Each of these I'm indicating with the mouse is a different pane. We can open a tutorial model from the projects view down here. There's a group called healthcare training examples and I'll open example 6. You can see when we open example 6, it opens in this main window up here. The current layout of the interface is saved as a perspective. There are a couple of different perspectives that you'll use regularly. Build and Analyze up here are the two main ones indicated in this layout menu. In the Build perspective, you'll see that the toolbar has a common tools for building models. So this one is for adding branches, and this one is for inserting nodes. You can see that when I hover over the icons in the toolbar, I can find out what they do. In the Analyze perspective, this gives you access to a toolbar where you can easily run specific analysis. Again, scrolling along, I can find out that I can create a rankings report, do sensitivity analysis, etc. There's also a simple perspective, which some modelers may prefer. This simple perspective highlights only the most commonly used actions for a simpler overall display. We will focus on using the Analyze perspective. In the main pane, you will find the Tree Diagram Editor, where we can build trees. There are tools here within a palette for adding nodes, notes and arrows. If we analyse the model, we will also see the results appear here. So I'll run a sensitivity analysis on this model and the tab with the results in will appear here, next to the tree. When I have multiple tabs open, I can use these arrows at the top here to go between the different tabs. Let's look at how we manipulate the different panes that we have open now. We can perform these same kind of operations I'm going to show you on one pane across all the different panes. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at resizing the pane. And we can do that by hovering over the edge and dragging the pane to change the overall size of it. We can also maximise and minimise the pane. So if we want to look at the whole tree, we double click on the tab and the tree is maximised everything else is minimized into the to, into the edge of the software and then if we want to resize the window we double click again and it goes back if we want to minimize certain areas for example let's assume we want to minimize this help um, area here we can select to minimize the whole um, section by using this tab here and the minimized tabs all appear here so that we can either open one individually and then restore it back down again or we can use the button at the top to restore them all. If we want to close any of the views within a pane, so for example let's close this help view, we could select the close which is the red cross and then if we wanted to reopen it we can go back here to this views menu which actually lists all the different views that you can open for the software. And we just scroll down until we find the help view, which is going to be on the next screen, and open that. 
Model files are opened by the File menu, File and Open from your File Explorer structure. We can also choose to move views from one pane to another. So for example, we might want to move this Help view down to this bottom section here. So we just drag it and drop it down there. Or we move it back in the same way. Something else that's helpful is also detaching panes. So again, we might want this Help view on a separate window to the interface. So we right click on there, select Detached. And the Help view is now at its own separate window, which can be moved onto a second screen. To reattach it, right click, check the detach box and it pops back usually to where you got it from. We can also split panes, so if we wanted to look at the tree and the model results side by side, what we could choose to do is drag, after selecting the model results, drag them to the side of the existing pane. And when we see the dark line appear down the middle of the pane, let go and then we have split our screen. Okay. To put them back you just simply grab the file and drag it back into the main window again. When you close the software, either by doing the file menu and exit or selecting the cross at the top right hand side, the layout changes will be saved in your workspace for the next time you open Triage Pro. That means the layout will be preserved and the same models that you had open will be opened again. It can often be useful to reset the perspective, especially if you're exploring and you lose certain views that you want and then can't find them again. And to do that, all we do is we right click on the perspective and then set reset. Okay, and select yes, and it will reset to its defaults. This bottom left pane is used for entering model inputs. The first one here we have is the variable properties view and this is where all our models numeric values should be entered as parameter variables. So they have a name and often they have a numerical value associated with them. We can also have non-parameter variables which may mean that there are formulas or references to other elements of the models such as keywords and other functions. There are a number of other model input views such as tables or distributions and other inputs all presented along this pane and additional inputs can be found in the views menu. All views can be accessed via the views menu so if for example we close something that we need such as the variable properties view we'll use the views menu, we'll scroll down find the variable properties view and reopen it and again we can reorder that by dragging it around the area that we want. The panes on the right hand side here are primarily used to access help views. So you may not need them during building models and you might be able to minimize them. These help files here can be very useful when you're getting started. If we look at the contents, we can see there are several chapters around getting started with decision analysis, building trees and then analysing them. In addition we can use the search feature to search for things that we might be interested in. The other views that we have in that pane are also the evaluator and the evaluator allows you to enter expressions and then evaluate them using the equals here at different places within your model. The console will allow you to examine output from the model and you can find out more about doing that looking for features around debugging your models within the help files. In the analyze perspective the projects view is also found at the right hand side here and this is used as a file system for storing models accessing them easily from within Triage Pro. Importantly in this section are the example models and there's a whole folder of those example models and they're referenced heavily throughout the help files. A good place for getting started with them is the healthcare training examples. If you are in the build perspective, the projects view is found down here at the bottom right and in addition there are two other views to help you examine the tree. The tree explorer breaks down the model into a node by node description and the model overview allows you to navigate 
around a tree by dragging the blue box to the place of interest. We hope you have found this orientation video useful. We can highly recommend reviewing some of the other product demonstrations we have on our web page. In addition, we would also recommend attending a triage training course to learn more about how you can technically develop your models. Lists of all training courses are available on the website by looking at the public training calendar. You can also get help with any active licence through our help centre. So you can go to the knowledge base, type in questions and find common answers and also post on our community forums. If you can't find your answers here, feel free to submit a support request to us. Thank you for watching.